A Brexiteer has lashed out at Germany after companies in Angela Merkel's state have been forced to seek other markets as a result of red tape following Britain's departure from the EU. Prime Minister Boris Johnson signed a trade deal with the EU back in December and was based on zero tariffs on most goods. However, trade between the two has been disrupted by higher shipping costs, transportation delays, as well as stricter customs requirements, are the border. The disruption caused by Brexit has forced German exporters to seek other markets or relocate production. Germany accounts for more than a quarter of all EU exports to the UK and has been hit the hardest than other member states. However, Alan Sked, Emeritus Professor of International History at LSE, has lashed out at Germany for giving up on Britain due to the red tape imposed following Brexit. He tweeted, German exporters are giving up on the UK market due to delays and red tape since Brexit. Well done Barnier his comments come after German company Heller, a specialist in making crankshaft machines to mill engine parts, claimed it now takes twice the time to deliver goods to its factory in Reddick. Klaus Winkler, chief executive of the company, said, there is no vaccination against Brexit. I lorry traveling from Nertingen to Redditch takes twice the time and we have to put a lot more hours into all the bureaucracy. It is quite cumbersome. We had to increase the stock levels and have maintained them because it hasn't improved. Paul Mieser, from Germany's main industry association BDI, said smaller companies cannot cope and will not continue to serve this market. He said, some of them have said they just can't cope with this anymore, so they won't continue to serve this market. The Office for National Statistics said British exports to the EU within the first three months of this year fell 18.1% from the previous quarter, but imports from the EU were down by 21.7% whereas in comparison UK trade with non-EU countries grew slightly within the same period. For the first time since 1997, the UK imported more in March from outside the EU than within it. Lissandra Flark, economics professor at Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich said, It is probably too soon to talk about the long-run effects of Brexit on trade. Even though we have seen these big moves in the data recently, it could be that firms are starting to learn how to deal with these customs procedures. Full custom checks on some products entering from the EU have been pushed back by Britain. However, some of Bloc's biggest exporters have warned disruption caused by Brexit could get worse. BMW, which has factories in the UK and EU, told the Financial Times, We welcome the fact that the Brexit deal resulted in a zero-tariff trade arrangement. However, the additional administrative complexity has added costs to our businesses and the full weight of this will not be felt until full UK customs controls are implemented in January 2022.